Hi guys, my name is Sam. Today we're going to be discussing the Lucas 3 device. Now the Lucas 3 is a compression machine uh, built to give chest compressions in the event of cardiac arrest for a prolonged period of time. It's a great device. So I want to start this video, I want to go over some of the technical specifications of this, look at the case, look at the device itself, what features it has, uh, and then we'll cut to a clip where we'll show the Lucas being applied in a scenario so you can see how that workflow goes. So to start out, the case on the Lucas 3 is a hard shell case. You have a couple great features on it. Number one, you have a clear uh, plastic bubble here where you can actually check the battery indicator. You can also turn it on prior to going into a uh, building or somewhere where cardiac arrest has occurred to get you ready for that. It also, on the back, it has a battery port that you can access. It can be plugged in while it's on your ambulance. The case is opened by two red zippers. Inside, you'll find a base plate in the lid of the Lucas. The base plate is pretty simple. Um, it's a metal uh, material of some sort. It has two bars here that the Lucas will clip into, and there's a little diagram in the front of it that shows its orientation to the person you're putting it under. Uh, this is not a radiolucent board, um, but it can be used in some cases. In the lid, you'll also have a quick reference guide for use of the Lucas 3. Now in the main body itself, you have the Lucas 3. Now the Lucas 3 um, system ha has several different things on it, a lot of different buttons, and we'll go through these one by one here in a second. In the rest of the case, you have a pocket here. Now this for us will generally carry the head securing strap and a suction cup as well as charging cables, which I don't have on me. You can fit an extra battery in this case. However, we've opted not to do that as we have uh, extra battery chargers on our ambulances. So setting this aside, The Lucas 3 itself um, has two legs and a main body. On the main body, you're going to see a number of different buttons. So the first button here, you've got an on-off switch, which you can see here. Press that to turn it on and off. It'll take about three seconds to warm up when you press it. Then you have a settings button. By Once you turn it on, it will automatically go to the settings button or position one. Now with this button, this allows you to adjust the suction cup up and down um, to fit the person that you're doing compressions on. And if there's ever an adjustment you have to make while you're doing CPR, you can hit this, raise the suction cup, make the adjustment on the Lucas, and push the suction cup back down. You have a pause button, also position two. So once you've adjusted the suction cup, you're in position one, you're gonna to go to position two, which is the pause that will lock the arm in place and it will keep the suction cup from being able to be moved up or down. From there you can go one of two ways to position three. You can go to a 30 and 2 compression to ventilation ratio. This is your standard ratio for CPR without an advanced airway in place. Or you can go to the continual compressions which will just do compressions continuously. The light will flash every six seconds to remind you to breathe for them. This is for somebody that does have an advanced airway in place. You have two other buttons here. You've got your alarm cancel button. Um, this button, while the machine is off, will actually illuminate the battery icon, so you can check that um, for your rig checks in the morning, however you do it. And because there's a clear cover over this while it's in the case, you can actually hit this button and see the battery indicator. On the battery indicator, you have three lights. Three uh, green lights indicates 45 minutes of battery life, that's full. Two is 30 minutes. One is 15 minutes, and um, the flashing, uh, flashing amber is less than 10. You need to change it. Flashing red, you have seconds left. 
You also have a Wi-Fi button while it's off. You can transmit all the data from the code, number of compressions, duration, um, start time, end time, and you can hit that and that will transfer it to an enabled computer. Now, the alarm cancel will obviously, it will cancel an alarm um, while the Lucas is going if something keeps the arm from coming up. Pretty easy to reset, we'll go through that in a little bit. On the back, you have your battery compartment here. This battery is really simple to take out. It's just a pull out and up. The battery will come out and you can replace it. If you replace it while it's running, if you replace it within 60 seconds, it will save all the settings in the Lucas, all your code data, um, and you won't have to reset anything. If it takes longer than 60 seconds, which it really should not, you're gonna lose the data and you're gonna have to start from the beginning. On the side here, you'll notice the battery port. Um, that's the plug-in for the direct wall charger. Uh, you just line the arrows up, put it in, good to go. While the Lucas is running, you cannot charge it, but it can run the compressions indefinitely for you. Down below, you have the removable suction cup. These suction cups are technically disposable, although a lot of services do reuse them and just sterilize them between uses. The suction cup is just really easy to take off, put on. A little bit harder to put on, so I'm not going to do it here. And then this is the arm itself that will do, perform the compressions. On either side, you have arm holds. The patient's arms can be brought up into the Lucas 3 to keep them nice, neat, in an easy location. On the sides, you have two release pins that are going to release it from the base plate. And then you have two straps here that connect to the head strap, which will go under the patient's head here. Underneath, you have some clips. These clips will clip right into your backboard. So if we pretend that this has been moved under the patient, this is gonna set right on top, and it's just gonna click in. To release that, you can just pull these yellow rings, pull it right off. A couple other things with this unit. So with this unit, if it alarms while you're going, there's two alarms that it might, it might provide you. One is if your patient's too small, you pull the arm all the way down while it's in the settings mode, it starts beeping. That means your patient is too small for this, and you should remove it and do manual compressions. Uh, the second thing that might happen is if the arm is impeded coming up or going down, you're going to hear an alarm. And that can be simply reset by taking it and pulling the battery, moving the cup all the way up into the neutral position, reinserting the battery, and then resetting the suction cup and you'll be good to go. Or you can try turning it off and turning back on, although that might take a little bit more time, even though it seems a bit simpler. So. Without further ado, let's go over. We'll see this applied to a simulated patient just so you get an idea of how it actually works. When you first get on scene, you're gonna direct your partner and they're gonna start manual compressions, which should not be interrupted for more than 10 seconds throughout this entire process per AHA guidelines. First, we're gonna come over to our Lucas. We're gonna open it up by pulling these two tabs and opening it away from us. In the lid, you're gonna have your back plate. You're gonna pull that out and you're gonna set this at the patient's head. So it's right there, you know where it is. Next, you're gonna take your Lucas 3 device out and you're gonna power it on. It's gonna do a quick self check, set it on its side next to the patient. Remove the head strap from the case and set it somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to coordinate with the person doing compressions to hold compressions for a short period of time lift the patient up, move the backboard under them, position that down. If they're a bigger person, you can move their arms above their head and that'll take away some of the adipose tissue right under their arms. Next, we're gonna take our Lucas 3. We're going to apply it. So both these are gonna clip in. Now, we're already on position one because we did it. We're gonna make sure it's in the right place, right above the xiphoid process and we're gonna pull the suction cup down onto the chest. Next, we're gonna to go to position two, which is gonna lock the suction cup in place. 
We're going to go to 30 and 2 because we do not have an advanced airway established. Now, once that starts going, we need to make sure that this isn't going to ride down onto the stomach. We're going to take the securing device and we're going to put it around the patient's head. When you hear that, your patient's going to ventilate, two breaths, and it's going to continue. Now we're going to tighten that strap up so that it's not too tight, but it's enough that's keeping it from compressing the stomach on our patient. Now, if we get an advanced airway at any point, we can go ahead and switch it right to the continual compression mode. Now it will not stop for any reason during the compressions. Now to remove this, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to go from setting 3 to setting 2, which will pause it, to setting 1. And we're going to break the seal of the suction cup, move it up. Now we're going to power off. Remove the neck stabilizing strap and unhook the Lucas device, placing it next to the patient. Now, a really quick thing is if while you are applying the backboard under the patient, if it for whatever reason doesn't work to sit the patient up, the other thing you can do is a log roll. So instead of setting them up to do that, we can log roll the patient, set the board under them, and put it down. That should conclude the basic setup and takedown of the Lucas 3. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm going to start to try to put some more of these videos out, do some gear reviews, some tutorials here and there. Uh, so if you want, subscribe, and I will see you next time.